After almost a month of intense work, the 15th Ordinary General Assembly of the Synod of Bishops on the theme Youth came to an end. During the closing Mass on Sunday, October the 28th, in a gesture of welcome, Pope Francis affirmed that the Church wishes to lovingly listen to youth, confirming that their lives are precious, to walk alongside youth and not consider them as an object of study. One of the members of the pontifical nomination was the Apostolic Administrator of the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem, Bishop Pier Battista Pizzaballa, who commented on the challenges and hopes of the young people of the land of Jesus. La cosa bella è che comunque ci viene detto innanzitutto che i giovani The nice thing is that youth of the Middle East live an experience similar to that of many other young people in the world. Persecutions and social problems do not exist only in the Middle East. This helps to give us the right proportion of things. Thus, we cannot lose the confidence we need to have. And by working for Christian unity, we will have all the strength and energy to build our future. Using the passage of the Disciples of Emmaus as a guideline, the final document of the Synod was approved on the afternoon of October the 27th in the meeting room of the Synod. Welcomed by applause, the text was handed over to the Pope who authorized its publication. Among the topics that were discussed was the life of youth at school and in the parish, human sexuality, the presence of women in religious communities and decision-making situations, the phenomenon of migration, recognition and reaction to any kind of abuse, in addition to the family as the first community of faith. A synodal process that was not ended in the days of meetings but should continue in the individual churches and episcopal conferences. As a part of the singularity of each local reality, we hope to translate this document into practice, which contains many things. Naturally, the content is general because the Synod takes care of young people all over the world, not just of a specific country. We hope that the document will translate into our real life. It will be an opportunity to speak in various meetings with young people in pastoral visits. I think there's a lot of curiosity to know what the bishops did in the meetings for a month. I think it's interesting. For 25 days, 267 synodal fathers and contributors from different countries worked on the elaboration and conclusion of the final document. And there is something new for the Holy Land. During the synod, the head of the UCAT Arab Foundation and coordinator of the Patriarchal Office for Youth Ministry, the Maronite representative Monsignor Tawfiq Bouhadir, announced an international ecumenical meeting of youth which will be held in Lebanon from the 22nd to the 26th of March 2019.